Five ways that you can use ChatGPT to optimize your YouTube workflow and get more views. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last few months, you'll know that everybody is talking about AI. From the crazy realistic and creepy artwork you can create on an app like Lenza, to the endless possibilities of ChatGPT, an AI chatbot that can tell jokes, write songs, and even help you create more YouTube content in much less time. By simply typing in something like, write me a script for a YouTube video about the Great Wall of China. You'll see that it instantly starts writing a unique YouTube script based on that prompt and it even has the right structure. There's an intro, there's an outro. But in my opinion, the actual body of the text and the facts that it's used are a little bit too basic to make a really good video. It's covered the history and the length of the wall, but it pretty much sounds like a Wikipedia article. And that's because to get the very best results out of ChatGPT, you need to use the right prompts. So instead, what if I now type in what is a common misconception about the Great Wall of China? And you can see that this answer is already much more interesting. Whilst it's an impressive and massive structure, the Great Wall of China is not actually visible from space. Now, for me, this would already make much better video content because it's a fact that challenges what people think they already know about this topic. So I could now copy and paste this idea back into the AI, getting it to write a full script based on this one specific fact. I could use it as part of a five mind-blowing facts video about the Great Wall of China, or I could make a self-contained YouTube short. Now, ChatGPT doesn't quite understand what a YouTube short is because it's based on an internet snapshot from 2021, but it does know what a TikTok is. So if I copy this answer and type in, write me a TikTok script using this fact, and then I'll paste in the answer there, and you can see that it literally plans out the whole video for me from the voiceover to the actual shots that you should include. Now, personally, I would still go through and edit this script to add a few personal touches, but you really don't have to. This is actually good to go as long as you can get to the Great Wall of China to film that outro. And now to get this video some views, we need to come up with a good clickable title. What is a good title for a YouTube video about the Great Wall of China? So again, we've got some pretty broad answers here because I've asked a pretty broad question. You've got Great Wall of China, a journey through history, Great Wall of China, myths and facts. But again, we can start to improve things by being more specific and using the right prompts. Something like, what is a good title for a YouTube video about not being able to see the Great Wall of China from space? And here we have some much better options. In particular, just looking through, Great Wall of China, can you really see it from space? That's a pretty good one. And we can now go a step further by asking the AI to optimize this title for YouTube search. Optimize this title for search, paste it in, and you can see that it's now created titles based on that other title with good keywords included. Another good one you can ask it to do is to write some clickbait titles. And even if you don't find the perfect answer right away, you could still use this as a sort of brainstorming session to get you on the right track. For example, I might use Is the Great Wall Really Visible from Space as the title, and then I could use The Shocking Truth on the thumbnail. And on that note, what are some good thumbnail ideas for a YouTube video called Is the Great Wall of China Visible from Space? So there we go. In just a few seconds, we have five good thumbnail ideas. A close-up shot of the Great Wall with the title superimposed over the image. That's kind of basic. An image of the Earth from space with a small section of the Great Wall visible in the corner. That is a pretty cool one. And again, you can ask it to generate clickbait with thumbnail ideas as well. A person looking shocked or surprised with the Great Wall in the background, and there's even some options with text. So all I need to do now is use an app like Photoshop to put one of these ideas together. Or do I? I quite like this first suggestion, so if I just copy that and head over to another AI software called Midjourney, this AI can generate an original image purely based on this text description. And honestly, if you haven't tried this yet, you really need to, it's gonna blow your mind. So I'm gonna add that thumbnail description as a prompt and press enter. And there you go, in just a few seconds, it's given it a really good attempt. These guys here are even pulling the classic YouTube face, the Great Wall is in the background, but I really wanted to include that space element as well. So I'll just go back down to the prompt and include space and maybe the earth in the background as well. And we'll hit enter. And well, okay, that's not worked quite as well. The truth is these AI tools are not always brilliant at creating really good thumbnail designs, but they are getting close. 
And if I just try to create something more simple, like an image of the Great Wall from space, it does do a really good job. And if I carried on editing the prompts, I think it would get closer and closer. Now, most YouTubers already know that getting found via YouTube search is a great way to get more views and grow your audience. And the way to do that is by finding some good keywords and adding them into your description. So, what are some great keywords for a YouTube video called Is the Great Wall of China Visible from Space? So this has given me a list of good keywords that I can use as tags or add into my description. I can also then just press regenerate and it will give me some different options every single time. So if you keep regenerating, you're just gonna get a massive list of keywords. But to save even more time, I could also just try this. Write an optimized YouTube description for a video called Is the Great Wall Visible from Space? And look, it's actually writing out a complete detailed description about this video. And at the bottom, it even says that it specifically included certain keywords in the text. This is something that would normally take me 10 to 15 minutes to do on my own, but now I've got some extra time to actually make more videos. And it also might not surprise you to hear that this video that you're watching right now is purely based on a script that I got from ChatGPT. It also suggested my titles, it wrote my description. So you're watching AI in action right now. So if you've made it this far through the video, make sure you leave me a comment down below saying, I know your secret. And if you're interested in seeing more content about AI, you should definitely watch this video next and I'll see you guys in the next one.